Could the Halo Infinite flights be coming out really soon? Well, some of these tweets seem to suggest that, as well as Kelly being confirmed in the Mega Constructs Halo Infinite package, hinting at Blue Team potentially making an appearance within Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we have some interesting news for you guys today. We see the leads of 343 really pressing the Halo Insider program for some reason, as well as adding towards the news we covered the other day, talking about Kelly being part of this Mega Constructs package deal, which makes it seem like Blue Team might make an appearance within Halo Infinite. So we're gonna go into that and a lot more in this video. So if you like this kind of news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you wanna see some more content like this. We wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe right there. Let's get right into the content here. So the community director, Sketch, actively tweeted out people to sign up for the Insider program to be able to take part of the Halo Infinite multiplayer technical preview. Make sure that you keep track of that phrase, by the way. Also stating that they will not be able to send invites to people before the technical preview goes live. So you need to be signed up before the technical preview goes live because then you won't be able to be added in unless you sign up before the date. Now, this is pretty standard stuff. The last time Sketch tweeted about signing up for the Insider program, it was right on June 13th, the day that the multiplayer reveal happened, so it would make sense for him to tweet that out. And I looked through his Twitter, he didn't really mention anything about the Insider program before this, really. But what makes that last tweet so interesting is that one of the heads at 343, Joe Sustain, retweeted this, making sure people know to keep an eye up for the Insider program, to sign up for it. In which I scrolled through Joseph Stain's Twitter, he has not really mentioned anything about the Insider program or really tweeted out about it. He hasn't really been too active to get people signed up about it. So to see these heads at 343 actively tweeting out saying, hey, sign up for the program just makes me feel like that the technical preview is gonna happen relatively soon. How soon you may ask? Well, we have to refer back to a Unishack tweet. Unishack tweeted here saying, PSA Halo Infinite multiplayer technical preview details will be made known ahead of time. It will not be a surprise. Continuing on saying, we're constantly evaluating the flighting build just like we do with MCC flights and the exact timing is dictated by development realities. That said, once we have a firm date logged in, we'll let you know. So seeing people at 343 press the issue a lot more than last month about joining in with the technical previews for Halo Infinite, just makes me feel like this is coming around the corner relatively soon, probably within like four weeks maybe. Though again, like Unishek mentioned, saying that the time of when these flights will go live are gonna be dictated by development, not by hard set dates. But we'll know at least like a week in advance before these flights go live as we have with all the MCC flights that we knew about them happening about a week before they actually happen so I assume to see a similar kind of cadence maybe two weeks in advance just because it being Halo Infinite a lot of people want to jump in and play this and also keep in mind that they keep referencing it as a technical preview at more than just like an actual flight because with a flight like we've had with MCC we play it we report bugs they report back they kind of have a little bit of a conversation there trying to fix up the game exactly how we want it to be where the technical preview just sounds more like you're testing system stress testing things to make sure that it's not completely broken when the game releases. Which has kind of been the standard case now for these betas that we have now for like games like Call of Duty and other various other shooters out there. Where it's partly like some technical information to be able to so that they can make sure the servers are working properly and things like that. And maybe a little bit of discussion about like balancing and things like that. But it's mainly about promoting Halo Infinite, getting the word out there, maybe people recording some gameplay so they can stream it and stuff like that. So getting the hype up and getting people's awareness about the game being released out relatively soon, as well as stress testing systems to make sure everything's working as it should. Friend of the channel, Mint Blitz, recently put out a community poll asking when do you think the flights will go live? And with the majority of the community out of 133,000 votes, they voted for September. Which that's where I'm expecting it to at least happen then because we know for sure about the end of the summer, which is going to be in September. So by September, will definitely have the flighting process happen that we could see it happen as August with this emphasis that we're seeing from 343 now about getting people to sign up we could see it as early as August now the other day we did cover a news outlet guys about the Razorback being part of a new package deal for Mega Construct showcasing some reach weapons which were certainly interesting but also showcase a spurn that looked very similar to Ellie which it did look like Kelly with the same armor set, but different kind of coloring, which is very important for storytelling within Halo Infinite to make sure that you can tell which Spartan is which by which color they're wearing. 
But it was just confirmed that Kelly is part of this package deal. Mega Constructs just tweeted this out saying this set you can get with the Razorback also features Spartan Kelly 087 for the battle with a Brute Warrior and a Grunt Mule. If you guys know, that's the Grunt Mule that we saw in previous updates. The Grunt that's able to carry multiple weapons and grenades and stuff like that. It was a showcasing that Plasma launcher that we had back in Halo Reach involved with this. But now we have it confirmed that Kelly is going to be part of this set along with like looks like to be like the Halo Reach shotgun as well. Again, it's just a huge emphasis on Reach for Halo Infinite. What makes this extra interesting though is that this coincides along with the reveal that we had confirmed on this channel previously as well that Frederick 104 is going to be part of these Mega Constructs deals as well. Again, seeing like Kelly right on top of a Razorback, you see Fred here fighting against Ashram on top of a Brute Chopper with a Spartan laser there, by the way, just wanted to showcase that. So could we potentially see an appearance of Blue Team within the first season of Halo Infinite? It's certainly possible. Now we do know that not everything we see with Mega Constructs is gonna be involved with Halo Infinite. Though it's hard not to make that connection when you see these different tie toy reveals with the actual vehicles directly from Halo Infinite and you see Halo Infinite written on the box themselves you think that they try to pull items from Halo Infinite to make the items sell better. Meaning having weapons from Reach, like the plasma launcher or shotgun that we had for Halo Reach as well. And on top of that, Kelly and various members of Blue Team. Though we do know that Halo Infinite is going to be a chief focus story when it comes to the first season, at least when it comes to Halo Infinite. Do we see Blue Team involved with the story down the line of Halo Infinite? Absolutely. Do we think we'll see them at the launch story of Halo Infinite? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. It's just that this toy reveal, again, showcases a strong tie to the planet Reach and Halo Reach weaponry and stuff like that. Like, I think that there's so much more than just, like, aesthetics and stuff like that and just cool weapons to be put into Halo Infinite. Joseph Staten even hinted at this stronger tie to the planet Reach more than just weapons and aesthetics, saying here, I can share that we picked Heroes of Reach as a seasonal theme for a very specific reason, then links the Halopedia page to the planet Reach. It's a key location for Spartans of old and a focal point of a new generation of Spartans preparing to wrestle with the perils and mysteries of a galaxy that has fundamentally changed after the events of Halo 5. So how does Reach tie in with Halo Infinite? That's going to be very interesting. I don't think we will fully know until the game actually releases, but if we get any more information, guys, I guarantee I'll let you know on this channel. If you've been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, I got a playlist right here that links you to all the Halo news and informational videos that we've uploaded daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.